Hi, Lily, Ashley, and Camille. I'm Sophia Soto with the Nerds of Color. And first off, I want to say huge congrats on the new season. You guys did such a fabulous job. Thank you. Thank you. I want to ask you what the biggest change from your characters from season one to season two or the tone of the show overall is in your opinion? And this is for all of you. Um, for me specifically, for Emily, it was really important that we had Emily immerse herself more in the French culture, um, whether it be the French language, going to French class more with fashion, drawing inspiration from French iconic movie stars, um, or just, you know, taking the advice of her coworkers and her friends and exploring the city a little more, meeting new people and going to new hot spots and kind of hidden away local um, places. So that was that was a really exciting thing to get to do for Emily. And I think for Mindy, I think season one, we really see her as like a pillar um, of a guide for Emily and very just confident and um, knowing, actually just like not really having a plan at all. And I think that we watch her really pursue maybe what her passion is in this and also kind of figure out that she's a little bit lost herself. Um, and we get to see more of a vulnerable side of her and more of a her internal and personal life a little bit. Yeah, and I think it, Camille's about Camille's character, which is interesting that she's becoming more complex. Uh, she's not just nice and smiley. You can say like even a businesswoman thing in her that I love and that they, the writers um, did a great job on that note. So yeah, Camille is becoming more interesting, I think. And I, of course, have to comment on the costume design and the fashion because it is absolutely amazing. Um, if you could steal any of your character's wardrobe, like just have the whole, all her outfits, which would you pick and why? Oh, my God. There's too many. There's too many. There's <laughs> lots of different pieces, I think. Yeah. But... I, I Honestly, I obviously love my wardrobe is Emily, but I have to say there's so many of Camille's pieces. Yeah, I, I would wanted take all, to steal. I would take all of Camille's costumes. <laughs> she had so many boots. I remember being like, so wait, what are the, and I'd be like taking pictures of everything from the floor and I'd be like online and be like, they're sold out. Yeah, I yeah, can't yeah. find it anywhere. Or like one of Julianne's like cool suits. Oh I would my take God. and tailor for myself. Or like, I love an oversized suit jacket. So like, yes, yeah, yes. Take one of those. Oh my God. We just like switch everyone's costumes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You could all take a wardrobe and then just play like trade off. Exactly. <laughs> just all, all switch it up. <laughs> what is your like favorite memory from filming season two in that setting with everyone, all of that? I loved that this season, Kemi, Ashley, and I got to actually do more together, mm -hmm. all three of us. Yes. Because that was something that in season one, it you're not able to interconnect all the characters quite yet because you're just understanding the like premise of the show and meeting people whereas season two you really get to have the storylines mesh and mold and also go off on their own without having like Emily be you know the center in each of those storylines and to start off this season in Saint Tropez with these girls was so fun going to that massive party together going you know even just at the hotel yeah, just and being in a four seasons at Cap Ferra with Kimmy <laughs> and Lily it felt like we were our work was being on a girl's trip yeah for real. It was like running around magical. from room to room you know in our like slippers and then like going to set together and and we like it was so fun to be together. And also, so we were so grateful because of the state of the world and how isolated we had all been for so long during press and, you know, seeing each other, but not seeing each other. So I think it was the perfect way to start the season. And also just so nice because we are all so different and yet it makes sense that they're all so close and such good friends just like the three of us and in that party scene when we're walking down the stairs all linked in arms it was like oh finally this moment gets to happen and I think it was just we were really I mean I would we were really excited Kimmy what, how are you yeah yeah absolutely the same and I have a specific moment um you're gonna hate me for telling that to journalists but do you remember us uh talking about waxing <laughs> Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I so <laughs> that's the only thing I'm gonna say, but yeah. 
Thank you so much for that. That was, but that was an iconic moment for all parties because we all have. It's exactly emblematic of what Lily was saying of like everybody is so different. Yeah. But we all. I mean, that was the hardest I laughed that first week of shooting for sure. It was to me, amazing. that is amazing. That's so good. Amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, thank you for that. Thank you, Lily, Ashley, Camille. Thank you so much. Huge congrats <laughs> on the new season. Happy holidays. Hi, Lucas. Hi, Lucian. I'm Sophia Soto with Nerds of Color, and it's such a pleasure to speak with you both. Huge. Congrats on the new season. Thank you Thank so you. much. Hi, Sophia. Nice to meet you both. First off, Lucas, I want to start with you. What's next this season for Gabriel? Uh, season three or season two? I mean, if you want to tell me about both, you can definitely tease oh, no. both. <laughs> I, I, I never know if you watched it or not. So I, I, just, I, I did. Had... I did watch season two, but if you... You want to give me both? Hear from me, okay. Uh, I think it's a it's a season of truth unraveling. You know, there's there's been some entanglements uh, in season one, and and everything is kind of is is getting revealed. And uh, I feel like this season for Gabriel is just uh, is just kind of a bit, you know, uh, getting uh, getting the 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 money for uh, for his actions on on season one. You know, he's running after Emily the entire time, but he, all the all the seeds that he planted in season one are are blooming, and it's not good for him. So, but at the same time, he's also expanding because he has this, this new restaurant, and he can he can you know live up to his dream, professionally speaking. So, it's it's a big contrast with the love life and professional life, which is what Gabriel is. It's a life of contrast and paralyzing self doubt. God, <laughs> Lucian, oh. I'm so happy you joined the cast. <laughs> I was so excited. <laughs> no one's more happy than I am. I'm, I'm so happy to be here. I'm Just... so excited. So I need you to tell me, what are you most excited for fans to see when it comes to Alfie? Oh, for Alfie, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for people to come on this journey with him, man. He, he's, 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 he's new to Paris as well. He's, he's, he's figuring things out. And um, he's not the, the biggest fan of Paris, but you kind of get to you, you get to see a different version of Emily as well. I think through 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 Alfie, I think um, she lets her guard down a little bit more. She's um, she yeah she she goes a little bit a little bit crazy with 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 Alfie here and there. But yeah, I, th I think um, Alfie's 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 truth is his truth, and um, I think. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a cool cat. It's a cool cat. It's the bromance you need to see. It's the bromance. It's all about the bromance. I <laughs> love, yeah, I love a good thing. Choose about the bromance. That's what I'm gonna, I'm, I'm pulling that right now. <laughs> love it. And I, I, you know, you guys seem like such a fun cast. I can't imagine how amazing that set is and also just the filming setting. I want you both to give me your favorite on set memory from filming this past season, season two. Well, you know, uh, it, it was it was kind of a, a weird season to shoot because it was, I think, for most of us, the first project out of the pandemic, and also all the camaraderie we had in season one wasn't wasn't as effortless as as before because we were kind of isolated in the makeup room, in the in the in the trailers, in the we had masks and we had like COVID tests every day, so. It, it, we weren't allowed to be, you know, all on top of each other like we were in season one, uh, um, all on top of each other. I mean, you know what I mean. And uh, yeah. <laughs> you're good. You're good. <laughs> and um, and so, you know, it was it, it was hard because every day we were reminded that we were fresh out of this pandemic. But as soon as we were on set, it was it's mostly uh, memories on set because as soon as we were on set and camera was rolling, it was just it's just a blast. And we had so much fun with this script this season. And and just, you know, Alfie bringing this fresh point of view and um, and also Lucien is so much fun on set. I finally had a bro on set. So so my best memories is it's just, it's just us goofing around, you know, and, and making making our directors uh, mad because you know they just don't <laughs> thank you both so much for taking the time again huge congrats and i can't wait for the world to see the rest of the season and hopefully a season three fingers crossed thank you okay, yeah. bye -bye. Thank, thank you guys bye. so much happy holidays you too hi philippine hi samuel it is Hello. such a pleasure to speak with you both huge fans of the series and you both uh huge congrats on the new season First off, what is the biggest change in your opinion from your characters in season one to season two or the show overall? 
Go ahead, Sam. Well, I feel like, I, I don't know, I feel like in season one, we were all like a, an assembled, supportive assemble to present Emily to the world. You know what I mean? And now we're kind of presenting ourselves in this season. Yeah, all right. The, yeah. All the other characters are like presenting them, themselves. Yeah, we're going more in depth into each character. So everybody's becoming more complex. That's the most exciting thing, right? Is right. when you get to dig deeper into the character. Right, um, right. The costume design on this show is absolutely insanely amazing. It makes me want to just pull it out of my, you know, pull the clothes right out and wear them. Uh, if you could steal any of the characters' wardrobes, which would you pick? Sam, I think I know your answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I feel, I, I feel like it's already done. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. But, but, but basically, yeah. Everything, everything you cannot choose. Everything from from Julia. Yeah, from me too. Julia. I mean, there's so many great clothes for Sylvie. I don't know. Yeah. I wouldn't know where to choose. <laughs> I agree with you both. <laughs> the you know setting is amazing. What is your favorite on set filming memory from the season? I guess the peniche. Yeah, I yes. guess the boat ride all I night long. Have to agree with you on that right that was a great setting we're all together which rarely happened actually and we're off on the river and we couldn't you know get off the boat yeah so basically it was great it was like a night it out lasted, with friends yeah, yeah it, it was great it lasted for hours and hours like we literally until the, the sunrise yeah, we yeah. Saw the sunrise. i was like we yeah yeah that was great that was, was really good. great and fans are so hyped for the new season. Everyone was so excited when the trailer dropped and all of that. What are you personally most kind of excited for fans to see? Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. No, I mean, for me, I would say like uh, uh, Sylvie's vulnerability and her strength too. That I think is, int it was interesting for me to have that. And I think, uh, I mean, if people like the character, they might like that, you know? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> I feel like the story is getting very, very exciting. And I really can't wait to everybody to see what, uh, what the season two is about. And I have, of course, I have my fingers crossed that these are not the last time I'm going to see you both as these characters and that hopefully we get another season. But if you could create your own sort of dream storyline for your character moving forward, something you want to explore either acting wise or just something you'd want for the character, what would it be? Go ahead, Sam. Do you know what? It's... I was thinking about that. I'll make Julia travel to Chicago and call it Julia in Chicago. And you would go through the same struggle as <laughs> Emily, Emily did. But in, in, you know what I mean? I feel, I feel like it's a great idea. I'm just That's waiting. That's an amazing idea. Yeah. <laughs> I would have Sylvie create her agency in Rome and suddenly have to deal with the Italians, which she knows, obviously, but you know, and have Emily come to Rome and let's all have a big party in Rome and, and tell <laughs> Julianne to come back from Chicago and, and work with her in Rome. I'll be on the next flight. <laughs> right? <So, laughs> listen, take them to any setting you want. It's just gonna, it's just gonna get better and better. <laughs> um, and also, one thing I personally love about the show is the dynamics between the characters. I just think you all as a cast work off of each other so well. Is there a dynamic maybe that is most fun for you guys to do acting wise or one you're just excited to share with the fans? I have moments with Emily that are really interesting because obviously of our, you know, because I'm her nemesis. So it's interesting. That's really interesting to explore. But I also had a great time with Kate Walsh also because she was my nemesis. So it was like, you know, the nemesis having another nemesis. It was like, uh, so that was super interesting because with these guys, they're my team. They have my uh -huh. back and I love them. It's different. But when you have to like create a, really a contrast and a, conflict it's always very interesting so yeah just yeah. the fun fun ones to see on screen too <laughs> yeah. i mean i feel like uh like like to me like it's my first uh my first main show uh ever so to me it was like kind of normal that everybody gets along that much and we all really 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 connected off screen and i feel like it really shows on screen and we have all those connections and you know 
um, intimacy between each other on screen. And I feel like it's because we're just we're just good people that love each other off screen. <laughs> <laughs> you are, darling. <laughs> I love it. Thank you both so much for taking the time today. Have a great rest of your day. Happy holidays and huge congrats again. Happy Thank holidays you. to you. Bye. Thank you so much.